All right, so we're here getting ready for the uh, Thailand Harmony World Puppet Festival coming up in November 1st. That's right, as you see, we're all hard at work. This guy especially is a hard at work. He's got to bring all of this rice all the way up to Kanchanaburi just to feed all the people that are going to come to this festival. <laughs> hard work, yeah. He's, oh, he's very hard work. <laughs> he's doing it all for you. Oh, yeah, come to the festival. Please. But I do it out of love. Oh. The whole festival's out of love. <laughs> Puppets for peace. With puppets, we can unite the world. Oh. No, no barriers. No barriers between countries, between race. Yeah. We're all puppets. Where's his wife? <laughs> I, I, she's getting more rice. You people are hungry. <laughs> so what's going on? What's going to happen? This is going to be super fun. This is going to be the, crazy. Well, we have 40 different uh, international troops coming from 31 countries. We've got another approximately 30 Thai troops that are going to be there, including yeah. the youth puppetry community of Thailand, uh -huh. uh, including Dek Kewada, which designs puppets like this. Right. And uh, they're all going to be performing at Promit Film Studio, which is where they film King Mare Suan, and they use to film all sorts of period films and TV shows. And so we're using these historical sets and recreations as the background for all of these puppet shows. Right, and it's gonna be super cool because they can actually go in there. A lot of things in Thailand you can't take a picture of, right? Like like shrines and stuff. But because these are remade, you can take pictures of everything and they look beautiful like the originals. So Absolutely. And and yeah. and even though they're even though they are reproductions, people still revere them very, very highly. Mm. There there is a temple that was built for the movie. For the Naris one movie. Wow. But inside there is an actual Buddha and when we were they opened the um, the studio as a cultural park last year. Okay. And it was on um Misakabucha. Misakabucha or Mahabucha. Mahabucha. So it was on Mahabucha, mm -hmm. which is a, a big Buddhist festival, big Buddhist holiday. And at this temple, even though it's not a real temple, People were circling around with the candles as you would at a normal temple. And it is. People actually do go in and they do pray to the Buddha in there. And even there's one house there which was used as the house of King Nare Suen's best friend. Ah. And this house is an old house, 100 years old or more. And it was wow. brought into the studio and they just transported it there and used it for the set. And people insist that there is a ghost that lives. In oh, that house. ghosts! And wow, people there you go. go and they and they they leave stuff for the ghost and for the spirit, I should say. Yeah, ghost, ghost has such a negative connotation. No, not in Asia. <laughs> no, not in Japan. No way. No. Ghosts are cool. Everybody loves ghosts. You know? Sure, ghosts can be fun. Yeah, I saw a great ghost on the on the drone the other day. Really cool floating ghost. Okay. Yeah, going down the street. Uh, but uh, yeah, so. I guess it's kind of like there's this cool open source thing that's going to happen, right? So every, anybody can get in there who comes to the festival can actually play with the puppets. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, that's going to be... We'll just go look at a couple puppets here in the video. It's a little dark in here, but you can kind of see, you can see all the, the controllers there. And they're going to have a, you're going to have a chance if you come to the festival to actually uh, play with the uh, puppets yourself. Because we're going to let everybody can get in here and just do what they want. And so make your own stories. We want people to get together. Everybody's going to have a good time. Everybody's going to try out new, new. Um, oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. You can try out these puppets, and you can see the traditional Thai stories. But we're a lot of kids are coming, and it's really encouraging everybody to come and try things. It's not like just come and watch and this no, is this not at all. It's boring very, festival. You know, it's, no. It's very very hands on. It, it, it's all about. Uh, it, it, it's all about sharing culture and. and and ideas and we're very much into hands-on operation at any show that Sematai performs afterwards we always invite everyone to come up that's so play cool with the puppets try them out and they, they let me play with the puppets I used the puppets already I was afraid I was gonna we, break it we were a little nervous about it. <laughs> I'm glad he didn't play with me I don't know. And, uh, so but um, where should they go what website and how did they get started and you can go we have a Facebook page of uh, Thailand, I have to remember how this goes now, Thailand Harmony Puppet in Kanchanaburi on Facebook. The website is www.harmonyworldpuppet.com. 
Puppet or Harmony Puppet Festival, Harmony World Puppet. We'll put it below. We'll put yeah. it below that. Read that. Yeah. I'm too lazy to speak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then do they have to like organize themselves or are there package tours or how do we're they gonna, get there? We are going to have package tours. This we're still working on the details. Okay. But we are going to have package tours available because we are combining the Puppet Festival with cultural tours, visiting local communities in Kanchanaburi. Like, <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so we'll have booking through the website. So if you go to that website, okay. you can you can find out how to book. So basically, it's four hours out of Bangkok. It's November first to seventh. Yes. It's uh, four hours by bus uh, out of Bangkok, so it's close by, and it's going to be super peaceful. You see all the small. You see the villages. You get to see uh, bathe the elephants. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be taking care of the elephants. A lot of chances to do all kinds of cool stuff. But uh, we're not going to do, everything is very uh, pro, like pro the environment, pro the elephants. Like we're going to actually help the elephants. And we're going to have a lot of elephant uh, experts there with their, to explain, you know, what's good, what's bad, how to, you know, how to do it right. Absolutely, absolutely. And as a matter of fact, this weekend is, uh, we're celebrating uh, Pisu, who was an environmentalist um, 25 plus years ago, who, um, he committed suicide as a way of protesting some damage to the environment that was taking place. He was, he was working with the government, advising them on how to preserve this wetland or how to preserve this, in, this, 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 this environment. And they weren't listening to him. And he killed himself out of protest and as a way of keeping that message alive. And every year, people celebrate his life. Really? And his yeah. sacrifice by the Cool. So, so it's good that you bring up envir the environment right now. It's a very fitting day to, to do that. Yeah, yeah. So come on down. It's going to be super exciting. There's going to be over 31 countries doing puppet shows. And then there's going to be like freelance, open source. There's going to be people, people in the street walking Japanese traditional, yep. Burmese, and pr all the way from Prague. And how, is there South any, America as European? well. South America. We've got five, five wow. continents are coming. Wow. We've got people from Peru. You'll get to see... Peruvian culture that probably most people in Peru don't even get to see. Wow, really from Peru. Yeah. That's amazing. This is going to be the coolest festival in Thailand. Definitely come and wait. it's going to be a party for seven days. So. Mm. And you're going to get to go to, you know, really that's why people come to Thailand. It's to see stuff like this, right? Yeah. Because you see, it's not just, it's not just the, the pu puppets, right? You got the puppets, but the puppets are doing these traditional stories where you learn about the culture and you learn about the royalty, you learn about uh, you know, the things in the past, the history of the countries. And well, our, our way of thinking is that puppets can introduce things to people very easily. Puppets can, can teach and they can, they can connect people across the globe, across borders. Right. So the puppets yeah. are a way of introducing the culture that's there already. The right. People will come to see the puppets, but the puppets are going to be bringing more than just what the puppets are. Right, right. And here's the thing is is the puppets are most of the puppeteers are very young. So like the, we just watched a, a show from a six year old boy, right? So he, he's showing us how he does so a lot of the they're very young and what it's doing is it's taking traditional culture. Instead of losing it, they're teaching the kids and the kids have a chance it, it, it gives the kids something to do, something interesting. It also takes them away from like maybe things that won't benefit them so much like television or PlayStation. Because well, they, television yeah. has its place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. Yes. Yeah. Well, these for, kids for, are creating stuff, right? For so, a perfect example, we look at this, which yeah. is built by Dick Tewada in Mahasarakam, okay. which is a province in the northeast. And these kids were living in a village where they had nothing. They grew rice, and most of the kids there just right. wanted to get right. out of the village any way they could. And so the school started to, uh, to, to, to put together this puppet troupe. Yeah, but they yeah, didn't yeah. have money or anything to buy puppets, so they had to come up with a way of building their own puppets. And so they devised this system of using these gatik, which is the steamed rice, the sticky rice uh, steaming baskets. These are baskets. These are baskets, baskets. That, that would normally contain sticky rice. And they realized that they could use these, put them together, and create this design, which is very unique to this troop. Yeah, the material. This is traditional. Isan cloth. Okay. They would just use old yeah. cloth that they had. Now this one, yeah. this one is, is made 
especially to be a decoration, so it's yeah. a little nicer. But the original puppets they made were made from baskets that were worn out, they didn't use anymore. Right. And the clothes were made from rags that would have been tossed away. Yeah, so it's like, geez, it seems, sounds like something is perfect for like the family, right? Yeah. Because your kids are going to have a great time because they can watch the other kids, and they can also play around and try their own puppet shows. And also it's great for adults because you see the deeper meaning of, you know, basically this keeps village culture alive. Well, what happened... Or, in, or brings it back. What happened in Maha Salakam is yeah. that because suddenly these little baskets were suddenly very, very valuable to them, yeah. the kids became interested in learning how to weave the baskets themselves. No way. So this was a tradition wow. that before... Yeah. They had no interest in they just did not want to know about this. This was something that their grandmothers did. Now, yeah. they want to know, well, how do we make these baskets? Think how about that, think about that. Kids, kids all over the world, you're trying to, people are trying to get kids to try traditional things, to learn the benefits of traditional things, right? That's what this puppet show does. Yeah. And it's going to teach the kids about Thailand, but also it gives them, I think it, for, when I first heard that, it started me thinking about how culture could be saved in other countries. Because mm, yeah. like in many countries, like in Japan, everybody's leaving the countryside, going to Tokyo. Sure. So there's, there's just older people out in the countryside. But if they had a way to make money, to have a career, to do important things, then young people would be interested, right? Absolutely. So Absolutely. This, brings, this brings culture and also other benefits too, right? Absolutely. And people won't just be learning about culture of Thailand, they're going to be learning about culture from 30 plus different countries around the world. Wow. They're all coming and they're all bringing their own unique slice of culture with them. Dude, awesome. Well, book your, go down there, book your thing, and we'll see you down at the festival November 1st in uh, Northern Thailand. Yeah, uh, it's still Central Thailand. Still, 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 still Central Thailand. Okay, yeah. so four hours away from Bangkok, no problem. Come down from Tokyo, come down from Shanghai. You'll be there. Look at you split. Have some good food. And good food, too. There will be excellent food there. There will be a food festival to go along with it. It's Thailand. The food's going to be great. <laughs> We're having all the traditional things and all the, like, the good food made the right way, right? Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. And then local foods. Yeah. yeah. There's going to be a lot of Thai people coming from all over Thailand, so it's a good chance to meet uh, people yeah. also. That's right. Yeah, cool. See you there.